hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to maintain a continuous combo in our melee attacks uh, system melee combat system so what that means is here if i do uh, one attack the character is doing attacks like this usually from right to left but if i initiate another attack before proper before completely ending and returning to the normal pause in the first attack the character will do a continuous combo so here like this if the character is first doing a right to left sing then if i initiate another attack while the weapon is still in the left side of the character it will do a left to right swing see for this tab there is no really uh, connection because it works with either attacks but for right to left or uh, diagonal swing after a diagonal swing it will do a back swing like this okay now let me show how it works in action with an actual fight here is the AI guy okay he's already dead all right so yeah that's what we are going to work on today and also this system is already working with replication let me show you a demonstration because we are using game playability system here and we have already replicated uh, all the necessary things in the system so here first let me demonstrate with the client this small windows are clients to equip okay all right so it's replicating properly and with the server Alright, so things are working. Okay, so that's what we are going to work on today. And this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series I'm doing. You can watch all the previous episodes that I have done in my channel. I'll leave the link to the full playlist in description. And also you can download the project complete project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patron page i'll leave the link in the description below to that as well so once you become a member you can download anything without a limit and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so now at the moment if i do some attacks this is what happens i just do attacks randomly as you can see there is no sequence there is no combo so what i want to do is for example let me open my light attack ability and here if i first do this attack which is going from right to left and if i do another attack within this time frame before i finish or fully come to this pause i should do another attack that should be like a backswing that starts from the left side and to the right side that means actually this attack this one this attack okay so how can we do this so for that we gonna need an anim notify state so that we can define which uh, region that we are allowed to do a left to right attack so for that here to uh, create an anim notify state i'll create a new folder called anim for print class 
name notify state i call this ns left i don't have a, a better name for now so let me show you so now here this is actually the back screen so let me take this attack for example so maybe after this state let me add another notify track and here i can start ans left and then end it somewhere like here yeah somewhere like here maybe we can put it a little more further so within this region if i do another attack my character should do a left to right type of attack so that's what i want to develop so for that here now ns left here we have two functions that we can override actually there are many functions but uh, for now it only matters this received notify begin and received notify end functions so when the function begins i need to inform my character blueprint that now this is a good time this is a time that is suitable for a left to right attack so for that first uh, let's add a new enumeration because I'm not just thinking about uh, doing from left to right or right to left there may be some type of attacks that I should do from up to down or from starting from down to upward things like that also may have to implement in future so therefore i'll add a new enumeration e i'll call it attack state so here for now i'll add the state right and another state left so we might need to add up down states also in future but for now i don't have i don't have a requirement to add such uh, states okay now let's go to my character blueprint and here I have implemented this weapon wielder interface here I'll add a function set attack state and as an input I'll give e attack state I'll call it attack state should be double T okay and another function to get attack state okay now this should return the current attack state all right now compile let's I think it would be better if i had a category for this there i added the weapon with the category okay compile now with the character i have under interface under weapon wielder i have set attack state let me open it and i'll promote this to a variable called attack state by default it would be right because if i was not doing any attacks i would consider my hand is on the right side so that we can do a right or left attack and the other one get attack state simply return the attack state okay now let's go to this ga light attack sword 
so here what I am currently doing is just randomly select any attack out of these two if my target is on the right side if the target is more to the left sorry it's opposite if my character if my target is more to the right of my character then i will do a left swing back swing that's what happens here otherwise i do a right to left attack okay now here to maintain some steady combo i don't think i need i should change this part because regardless of maintaining a combo if the character is already more to the right side i should do a backswing otherwise it will not look correct so here first i'll get our actor from actor info and then get attack stat okay and after that here if this is a uh, false if this is true that means i can do i am free to do a right to left type of attack I, it's not necessary for me to do a start with the left to right back swing so here i add a select node and use the attack state as the index now again if my hand is more in the uh, left side then the only option i would have is the same attack back swing to maintain a combo and for the right side well i can use any of these attacks because they would look correct so if you don't remember the other attacks are uh, horizontal slash diagonal slash and a stab and vert a vertical slash okay so for each of these attacks i need to add the anime state notify state so here starting from here let me add another notify track and i and if i oh wait i should have added it here Okay, this is one first one and the second one is this I already have I have already added it okay and the other one vertical uh, slash so maybe this and the next one is stab but this doesn't really need to have a need to do a left attack after this so let's see how it works okay and now one more thing so even if I have added the notify dead oh we forgot to call that function here so in the notify begin so mesh component this would give us a reference to the mesh we can get owner so this will give us a reference to the actor who owns this mesh component in our case that would be a reference to this pp third person character so here we can call set 
attack state as left because this is in is left and at the end on notify end I simply need to set it to the right state because that means we have missed the window to maintain a continuous combo right think return true okay one more thing so here we add this GE attack gameplay effect which adds the liar weapons to light attack tag to our character and it has a duration one second so until this GE attack this tag is expired after one second we will not be able to start another attack so therefore even though i have marked it as one second in my animation blueprint well here i have this end sword attack notifier and in my animation blueprint i have this end sword attack event calling so if I want to initiate another attack here I can get uh, ability system component and then remove active uh, game remove active effect with granted tags so here as the tag I'll select weapon Start light attack. Oh, here is a typo. It should be L I T E, but that's fine. Okay, now I should be able to do an attack without an issue. Let me get a character reference again here. Let me keep it clean all right i think all good let's test see when i do this tab we don't really we are free to do any attack actually so it looks okay but if i do a right to left thing then i have to do a left to right thing And I have to do that before character returns to its normal pose. So here, if I do the attack with some time interval to finish the attack fully, as you can see, it doesn't do the continuous combo. But if I keep pressing my attack button, here you can see character is trying to maintain a continuous combo left to right right to left like that okay so now let's test this in uh, multiplayer as well but this should uh, already work all right uh, let's test with the client Let me change the camera so I can see it clearly from all the instances. Equip. Yeah. Properly replicating. Client to server. Let's test it server. Yeah. We can do the combo. All right, so all good. We can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.